Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. We have an exciting topic for you. We are talking about building a wonderful website on WordPress. Bluehost has been working on some really exciting features that we want to show you today that we think are going to make a wonderful website on WordPress. Bluehost has been working on some really exciting features that we want to show you today that we think are going to make it even easier and even better to get an amazing looking website online up and running very quickly. So today we have myself, I'm Devin Sears, Senior Field Marketing Manager. As always, I'm your host. Today we're joined by Alani, one of our WordPress software engineers and one of the people that, is, that has worked on this specific product set. So we are getting the creme de la creme to come today to teach us uh, on how to get how to use these features and how to get the most out of them and how to get the, the best looking site possible. But before we go diving into any of the content, I want to do a couple housekeeping items. First things first, if you can hear me, then go ahead and find the chat window over on the side and let us know where you're tuning in from. We love to hear where people are tuning in from and it lets us know that our audio is transmitting. If you are tuning in from a mobile device, you might have to unmute the stream so that you can hear us. And if you found that chat box next to it, there's going to be another small tab labeled Q and A. If you have any questions, please drop those in that chat there or in that Q and A tab. I'll be doing the best that I can to respond to those as the webinar goes on. If there's any questions that I can't answer or that I think the group would benefit from, I'll hold those to the end and we'll ask them of Alani at the end of the presentation. So. Just go ahead and drop those in there. I'm actually going to turn my camera off so I can focus on answering those questions and you all don't have to watch me looking at my other screen. Um, but uh, other than that, only two other quick items. One, if you're having any technical issues with this, go ahead and try refreshing your browser window. That fixes 90% of the issues. If you're still having an issue, feel free to drop something in the chat. Let me know. I'll do the best I can to resolve it. But there's only so much that we can do with this platform to resolve issues. But if, if you are having an issue, we want to know about it. And the last item I want to talk about, we are going to be sending out a recording of today's presentation to everyone that has registered. So if you need to drop out early, we completely understand. We're sad to see you go, but we will be sending you a full recording of everything that we cover today. And uh, we're going to be going over some amazing stuff. So that's all the housekeeping from me. Alani, I'll turn the time over to you. Give us a small introduction of yourself and take it away, my friend. Thank you, Devin. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Alani. I'm a software engineer and a WordPress developer here at Bluehost. Uh, in my role, I work on developing WordPress products and tools that enhance the user experience of our customers. Uh, it's an exciting journey that certainly keeps me passionate about my everyday work. Uh, I also represent Bluehost at WordCamps, WordPress meetups, and other community events. So if you happen to see me at one of them, uh, feel free to stop by and say hi. Um, our primary focus today uh, is to create a personal webinar on WordPress using Wonderstart and uh, Wonderblocks. If you're new to Wonderstart and Wonderblocks, don't worry, uh, I'll have more to share about them in upcoming slides. Uh, for now, let's give you a brief introduction to them. So uh, Wonderstart and Wonderblocks are a part of Bluehost uh, Wondersuite, which is a collection of website tools and products designed to support us throughout our WordPress journey. Uh, with Wondersuite, we'll have the necessary resources and tools to build high-quality websites quickly, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today in today's webinar. Uh, here are more details on what's covered today. So as I said, we'll be exploring Wonderstart onboarding to create the foundation of our new website. Uh, we'll also glance over some basic WordPress knowledge just for those that are new uh, to WordPress, and also we will be building the pages of the website using Wonderblocks and we will be publishing the website. Uh, and at the end, we'll leave some time uh, for uh, some Q&A, as Devin said. Now, I do want to highlight that some of the content in uh, today's presentation is in the form of slides. But really, the vast majority is a live demo uh, within WordPress and Wondersuite. So you'll get to see it live. A few other notes, uh, you must have a Bluehost account and the latest version of the Bluehost plugin, which is version 3.0.6, activated to access Wonderstart and Wonderblocks. And also, I do want to note that Wonderstart is only available for newly created websites because it's an onboarding foundation or onboarding that creates a foundational website at the, at the end of the onboarding. So if you have an existing website, it might you know override it and might create issues. So it's only available for a new website. 
Uh, and Wonderblocks is only available for uh, websites that are using WordPress block editor. So if you have a third party page builder on your website or a uh, third party custom theme, uh, you probably won't benefit from it. But if you're using the block editor or an FSC theme, uh, you will uh, benefit from it. Uh, if you don't have an existing Bluehost account, uh, we have a few slides here uh, that contain a guide on how to pick a plan and sign up. Okay, so uh, first thing we'll go to bluehost.com and uh, we'll be we'll have to pick a plan. So first, you want to go to the WordPress menu dropdown and choose WordPress hosting as it's uh, highlighted in the screenshot. Next, uh, you want to scroll down to the pricing table. Uh, so you can review your options. So currently we have four plans, uh, the basic plan. This plan is really ideal if you have one website or if you plan to have one website that's relatively small. Uh, next is the plus plan. So the plus plan, if you have, or if you plan to have multiple websites uh, and you or you think your existing website might grow pretty quickly with a lot of blog content and a lot of visitors, then uh, the plus plan might be a better fit. Uh, online store plan, as the name suggests, if you plan to sell products on your website or have an online store, then this is probably the best solution. Um, the pro plan, so this plan is a lot similar to the plus plan, but it's a little bit more advanced. You get like stuff like dedicated IP, which might enhance security at some point. Uh, also, it has uh, uh, permanent daily back backups and, and more. But be sure to review the full feature list of you know, each of these plans and compare them before you make your decision. Also, be sure to review the pricing terms of each plan. Now, once you've decided on a specific plan from the pricing table, go ahead and click the select button on that plan, and that will take you to the sign up page. Uh, once we're on the sign up page, the first thing we have to do is we have to pick a domain. Uh, so a domain name is basically the website address. So when someone type in the address of the website on their browser, they will be taken to your website or if they click a link on Google or social media. That's basically the website address. So you'd have to pick the, uh, the domain name that's, gonna, that's going to identify your website. Now, once you've found an available domain, uh, you will want to fill out the rest of the information and complete the payment steps and create the account. And uh, once, you've, once you've signed up for an account, you'll be taken to the account page and uh, after you've logged in. And from there, you will want to click on the WordPress hosting on the left sidebar. And then you will have a website or WordPress website instance already created and ready for you. All you have to do, you just want to click log in and that'll take you to, the, um, uh, to WordPress. Now, uh, before we're inside WordPress, let's just take a few moments to get a little bit more familiar with Wonderstart onboarding and Wonderblocks. Uh, and first, we'll start with, uh, with Wonderstart onboarding. So what is Wonderstart? Uh, Wonderstart is a tailored WordPress onboarding solution that simplifies the process of building a website. Uh, Wonderstart will help us create a starter website based on the provided responses. So it'll ask us a few questions about the goals and desires for our websites. And then based on the responses that we provided, it will create a starter website for us on WordPress. Um, it will also let us configure the branding and color palette in front. Uh, and also it will help us uh, do the configuration of the settings of the initial search uh, engine optimization. And also at the end, based on the responses that we provided, uh, it will recommend certain extensions and add-ons based on the use cases of your website. Um, now, every piece um, that's created or configured during this onboarding, during Wonderstart onboarding, can be altered later on and modified later on. So if you happen to make a mistake or you're a little bit anxious about, uh, you know, where to go next, that's absolutely fine. Everything is, uh, you know, modify modifiable later on. Next, we have Wonderblocks. So Wonderblocks is a library of carefully crafted block patterns and page templates. Uh, these patterns and templates are generated based on the capture responses during the Wonderstart onboarding. They are tailored to suit the specific purpose and needs of your website. Uh, but that's not all with Wonderblocks. Also, you, um, it allows you to, personal, to add your personal touch on these designs. Uh, so you can cu easily customize it, personalize any of these designs to match the, uh, the style and preferences of your website. And again, all these patterns and design and page uh, templates are built using the WordPress block editor. So once you've imported a uh, one of these designs or patterns, you can easily edit it, edit the content, replace the content, uh, remove some content from them, because again, they're all built using the block editor. And we'll see an example of that today. All right, uh, with that out of the way, now is the time we dive into WordPress and start working on our new website. 
So here I have a new website on Bluehost and uh, I went to my control panel and I clicked login and we are inside WordPress. And as you probably guessed it, the first thing we are greeted with is the uh, Wonderstart onboarding. So the first thing here is just telling us about the benefits and what's gonna happen next uh, during the Wonderstar um, onboarding. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start setup. Uh, the first question is about our experience with WordPress. Uh, we have three options, never used it, used it some, and I'm an expert. So select your option and then hit continue setup. Next is going to ask us about the category of the website. So today, like I said, I would like to build a personal website and I'm going to go ahead and hit personal. But if you have other category, obviously you would you know, want to pick that or um, you know, type it here. Next, it's going to ask us the subcategory of that. Uh, so for me, I would like to do a blog personal website. So I have the blog option here. Now I do want to highlight if you select a blog, there or you select something else, that doesn't mean you cannot, you know, build a blog or, you know, you don't have features of the other, um, you know, option. This is just, you know, is going to help us recommend certain patterns and templates later on. Uh, next is going to ask us for the priorities and the goals for the website. So like I said, for me, it's a blog. So the main thing you want to do on blog is publishing content and articles. Uh, and I will do publishing here, but also the other, the other option of uh, selling or designing. Uh, so next uh, is going to ask us for um, the site title and the website description. And this is basically the name of the title, the, the name of the website, and also the, the title of it. And that's generally what's going to appear on Google. So the nice thing about this, it will take that information when we uh, put it in right now, and it's going to put it in, um, in the website meta of Google or any search engine. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Alani's blog, for example, and then... Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I already prepared some sort of a uh, description here. So let me get that. So you don't, you don't have to see me typing this all. And uh, so, yeah, uh, I have the site title and also the site description. But if you look at the right side here, you'll see the website title there and also the description. So it gives you a visual representation of what that will end up looking on Google. <clears throat> now, also, if you have like social media accounts that you want to Link to your website. All you have to do, you just want to click on this social media drop down and then put in the link for your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever account you have. And that also will be populated on Google. The other option here, you can upload a logo, but I will opt in uploading a logo later on. So I have a logo, but I will upload it later when I'm building the header of my website. Okay, so after we put in that information, now it's going to take us to the sort of a, like at the design studio of the website. The first thing we have to select is the theme styles, which including the uh, color palette and also the font pairing. Uh, so we have a few examples that are just recommending, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just review some of them here. But like if you wanted to expand one of them, all you have to do, you just want to click on the, uh, the image and it's going to uh, enlarge it so you can see it bigger. So here, as you can see, this is the... Uh, now, that's not the website. This is just the uh, font and the color scheme. So this one is offering this kind of a, a green color scheme with this font type. Now, if you want to change that, all you have to do, you just want to click Customize Color and Fonts. But let's go ahead and see what other options we have here. So um, let's load this load and then see a font that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. It looks like I like this font a lot. So this font right here, which I think is a, a Playfair, uh, the, the font name. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Customize Colors and Fonts so we see what that looks like. But yeah, you can come here and choose a different color palette. So I can come here and change the color palette to like this cool color palette right here. And as you can see, you can see it changing live in front of you here. So you can see what that color palette will look like. You can also select a custom color uh, palette if, you, if you'd like. But I'm going to go ahead and change it to warm. I think that's what it was. Or actually, uh, the night owl. Yep, it was on the night owl here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Next is going to ask us for the uh, topography or the font pairing, which we can change here. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. I quite like this uh, font style. Next is going to ask us for the header style and uh, the navigation. So we have a few examples here, about four examples. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the simple one here, the third one. It's very simple. But again, right now it's empty because we don't have any pages. Um, and also, I didn't upload the logo here. But we're going to go ahead and uh, edit the header later on with Wonderblocks. 
So now it's actually offering a three different home page uh, layouts. Uh, as you can see here, we have the, this layout here. You can scroll down to see what it looks like. And also the second one here uh, and then the third one. So based on this one, I like uh, this one right here with the big hero image. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it and hit next. And now it's telling us, okay, based on what you told me, uh, we recommend that you have these uh uh, four pa three pages. Well, there's four options for you uh, about uh, contact, blog, and this, but the testimonial is unchecked. Uh, and basically, it's recommending that, and it's already created some sort of a page layout for these three pages, which is the uh, about, uh, contact, and blog. But I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all of them because I want to build these using Wonder Blocks uh, later on here. So we'll, we'll you know, experience Wonder Blocks as well. So again, I have everything unchecked. But if you want to, you know, have one of them already applied and designed for you. You just want to go ahead and check that. Uh, and now these are the add-ons and extensions that it's uh, recommending based on what the, the uh, answers we provided. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck everything. I want to keep everything simple here today. And then we're going to go ahead and do next. And now it's saying, nice work. Your site is ready. So it's just letting us know, like, hey, here's how you get help. Here's the next steps for you. But for me, I just want to be taken inside WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and do complete setup. And uh, yeah, uh, as soon as we're done with the onboarding, now we are taken into uh, WordPress. And this is the back end of WordPress for you that are new with WordPress. This is what we call the dashboard or the back end of WordPress. Uh, that's when you log in as an admin of your website. That's what you typically see. So every time you log in after you've logged in for the first time, uh, which will take you to the Wonderstart onboarding, after that, you will be taken to the WordPress dashboard. And that's how you manage your website. Now, your visitors. They will not see this. They will just see the basically what we call the front end of your website, right? Now, if you want to see what that looks like, all you have to do uh, to get out of this uh, view or this back end view, you just want to go on the top left where the website title or your website title, which in my case is Alani's blog, and you just have to hover over to click visit site or just probably just click on it. And then that'll take you to uh, the front end of your website. And that's ultimately will, what your visitors will see minus the top admin bar right here. They don't see that. That's only for you because you're logged in as an admin. Now, if you wanted to go back to the uh, back end, all you have to do again, you probably guessed it. We just go on the top left and click on Alani's blog, and that will take us to the, uh, uh, the, the, the back end of the dashboard. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and just have a little bit of a review over the WordPress uh, dashboard and what you can do with it. So um, if we go to uh, Bluehost here, the first one, the Bluehost dashboard. So this is the Bluehost dashboard, and basically it offers... Uh, shortcuts to your Bluehost account to manage billing and uh, other account settings, but it also offers uh, some tools that help you maintain your website. For example, uh, you remember I talked about the add-ons and extensions that I opted out of in the beginning. So you can come here and you can uh, enable them. You can enable Yoast, you can enable um, WP Forms. Also, these are the shortcuts to your hosting account. Uh, also, it has a store for those that are uh, WooCommerce uh, owners. But again, in my case, I don't have WooCommerce, it's just a blog, so this is all locked out. Uh, it also has a marketplace if you want to extend the functionality of your website with some premium plugins like Yoast Premium or Jetpack uh, backups. Uh, also performance, so this is like how you, where you can manage caching. Caching is basically a fancy term for website optimization. And also we have uh, settings, and here you can maintain uh, the settings of your website, like the automatic updates, content, and the comment settings. Now, this option is kind of important here, and I want to bring your attention to it right now. So as you can see right now, the website is in maintenance mode. Uh, it's in a, It has a coming soon that's enabled. And that makes sense because it's a new website, and Bluehost doesn't want you know a, blue, a brand new website with no content to be just immediately featured on Google. So there is a little bit of a coming soon page that could be easily disabled here. But we'll go ahead and disable this coming soon page as soon as we have the website uh, built and ready to go. And next, we have the staging, which uh, lets you clone your website to work on a different instance of your website so you don't have to uh, basically bring down the existing website. You just work on a different website in the back end. And also there is the help page here, which has links and uh, uh, help information from Bluehost. Uh, so next we have the dashboard, which is basically just a dashboard link here. But uh, also we have the post. So post in WordPress is where you can uh, create blog posts, articles, any type of content that's constantly changing. Uh, like recipes or anything else. 
Uh, now, the difference between posts and pages, we'll see that later on. Pages are more static. So if you have like a home page, testimonial page, contact page, these are consider considered static and they don't change that often. But posts, you want to go in, you know, every so often to create new blog posts. Uh, now, admittedly, I did inject a lot of posts here through the database. So it's a new website, but a lot of posts are injected. Just that we call them dummy content, just so for the presentation today, you can, you have like a visual representation of what the blog, you know, can ultimately look like as it's growing. We also have media. Uh, in the media here, you can upload um, videos and images of, uh, of your blog or your website. So as you can see, all the blog posts that I've created and I uploaded the images for are right here. Now pages, so here we have the pages of our website. So currently we have home page, and remember that's the only page that I uh, selected from the Wonder Start onboarding, and it's created here for us. Now, if you want to create more pages, you just have to click Add New Page or Add New, and it will let you create a page. And actually, since we're here, we're going to go ahead and create the pages of our website that we're ultimately uh, end up with. So first, I'm going to rename the home page from home page to just something like Home, and I'll update that, and then. I will go ahead and create two new pages. And for my new website, I want to have a home page, which is already created, and I want to have an about page and a blog page. I want to keep it simple for you know for starters. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit about or create about. And I will click publish on the top right. So I have a new page. For now it's empty and I know that, but we'll go ahead and add more content to it later on. Um, and then if I wanted to go back to the page uh, to the pages settings of WordPress, all I have to do, I just want to click on the uh, pages icon on the top left of WordPress right here. And then uh, I will go ahead and add new again. I'll create a new page. And this page, I'm going to name it blog. Same thing, publish. Click on the WordPress link here, the WordPress icon on the top left. And I'm taken back to the pages. Uh, I'm going to skip over comments for now. But then the appearance and the appearance settings, uh, that's where you can access uh, the themes of your website, where you can change the theme. Uh, where you can uh, access a site editor. So it's uh, very important, the site editor, especially with the WordPress blog editor and FSC. And we'll talk about it more today here later on. But yeah, and the appearance editor, that's where you can edit the global parts of your website, like the header, the footer, the page templates, and so on. We also have plugins. Uh, so uh, plugins are uh, basically add-ons and extensions that enhance uh, and uh, extend the functionality of your website. An example of that, if you install a uh, forms plugin, web form. So by default, WordPress does not have the ability of creating web forms without coding, obviously. Uh, but then if you go to plugins and click add new and search for a contact form plugin, then you'll be able to install a plugin and that will add the ability to create web forms visually without coding uh, inside WordPress. So you can collect responses from your visitors. We also have the users tab. And in the users tab, you can go and create new user, new admins, new editors. Uh, and so on, and manage existing users as well. And then uh, I'm going to skip over tools and also go to settings here. So the settings, the only really thing that you want to uh, look at for now is the site title and the tagline. So if you remember, we edited the site title and tagline during the Wonderstart onboarding. I put in that information there, and the onboarding automatically took that information and put it where it belongs. But if you want to change it, you would just go to settings, general, and you can change your site title here or tagline. So if you want to change it down the line or you made a spelling or something, then um, you can come here and change it. OK, so now let's go ahead and start working on our uh, pages. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front end one more time, the, the website, just see what it looks like. So as you can see here, we have the home page, the blog, and about. Uh, the ordering of it is a little off, but we'll go ahead and fix that. But then we only have the uh, home page. The other pages are empty. Again, we created them with no content. Uh, but let's go ahead and work on our home page first. Okay, so we'll go to the home page and to edit a page, you can either go to the pages and click edit or on the page itself, click edit page on uh, the top right here on the admin bar. Okay, and uh, so now we're inside the WordPress editor. So this is called WordPress editor, the block editor, uh, the WordPress block editor, many names, but again, this is where you can edit the content of your website, both pages and posts. Uh, so what I want to do here, I want to first, I want to, uh, click on the three lines right here and what we call the document tree or the document overview just to give you like a kind of a content representation of what's happening here. So you can, this is the first uh, element right here and it's the group one right here. So I can see uh, kind of like a, a tree of, the, of my content here. But if you don't want to work like that, that's absolutely fine. You can go ahead and close it and then just work on everything by, you know, clicking and changing. So the first thing I want to do, I want to change 
the background of this, uh, the, the heat, what we call the hero section or the introduction section. So what I want to do, I want to click on it on the background here, actually, let's, let me on the cover. So I have to access it from the tree. Some content you can't access, you have to click manually on the tree, but I'll go ahead and click on the cover right here. And then uh, I have an option to click replace. And when I click replace, I can do either upload an image or use a featured image or open media library. So I'll go ahead and open a media library and I will upload a, uh, an image here from my computer. So I drag it and put it on here. And now I've changed the background image. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to change the slogan here uh, or the title. So I already have one prepared as well. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and then select this all and just uh, overwrite it and paste it over. So now it's empowering small business owners to thrive in the digital world. Next, I want to change this what we call like value statement. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and also copy this text that I have and place it over this one. And you can it's just simple copy and paste, or you can type it if you want to. Uh, and then, so we have two buttons right here, or two links. One of them joined the conversation, and one of them is recent entries. Now I don't need that. I don't need two of them. So all I have to do is just click on the buttons here, and then uh, the second one, which is the recent entry. I can go ahead and click on the three dots and click remove button. And now I only have one. And then I can change it to, for example, C recent post. Okay. And then I can also link it. So right here, if I if you click on the button and you have the toolbar right here, you can click on link and then you can link it. You can just type blog and then I can link it to my blog page. So when someone click on it on this button, they will be taken to the blog page. If it's an external link that goes somewhere else to your social media, you also have the option to click open a new tab. So they're not taken away from your website. They're just opening a new tab on their browser. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit update. And then uh, let's uh, go back quickly and see what that looks like on the front end of the website. So right here we have this hero section or the introduction section with my new title, new button, and also, or new value statement, and also uh, the button here. Now, this section is generally very important in web design because that's where the users will see first. Uh, that's where their you know, eyes will land first, the initial you know, connection. So it's very important to have a, an appealing uh, section right here. And Wonderstar does a good job of creating a good section there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the page so I can uh, uh, edit the rest here. So first, I or next, I have the personal interest here. So something about me and my personal interest. Now you can you know remove that section completely, and we'll see that, or we can just edit this. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, edit that here. So for example, I'm going to change my uh, personal interest here from what this you know template is giving me. So I'm going to change the image, and I'm going to go ahead and upload a different one. Again, I'm going to click on the image here, and now watch. I'm not working from uh, the tree. I'm working directly here, and again, that's what you can do with the block editor. You can work from the document tree or you can click on the elements and change it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the element here on the image and click replace and open media library. And I also will uh, drag an image from my computer and select. And I'm gonna change that to uh, travel. And I also have a little bit of a description for the travel that I were in here. I could just come here and paste over to this. Uh, next, I have uh, the second interest, and I will change that to photography. And I also have a different image for that. Okay, and then I have also a different description for it. And uh, last thing here on this section is this last uh, one. I'm going to change that. First, I'm going to start with a different image. And then the title will be something like um, sustainable living here. And I also have different description for that. Okay. So as you probably recognized, it's sort of a pattern uh, that, that I'm following. You know, I, uh, I click on a, a template I, or import a template. In this case, Wonder Start already created a template for us. You click on the elements, you change the content of the elements, or you can completely remove them. And we'll see an example of that. Um, and also you can change this from life stories to uh, something you could remove it completely or you could just say something like my life or anything that you want to add on there. Uh, this one right here. Also, I feel like it's kind of out of place. I don't have text for it. For, so what you can do, you can just click on the three dots and click remove paragraph 
and now you remove that completely from the page. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update one more time. And now let's go back and also view the new changes on the home page. So we have this introduction section, and also we have this new section with my updated content. So as you can see, travel, photography, sustainable living, my own content is on there. Okay. And uh, so now it's a new website. I don't have a lot of content, right? I'm just barely starting. So I feel like there's a lot of sections here and I'm, I don't need all of them. For example, I'm just starting out. I probably don't have reviews or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and remove some of these sections here because we don't need them. So again, I'm going to go back and click edit page. And then um, let's go ahead and click on this tree here so we can see each section. And then uh, if I go ahead, so uh, when I'm hovering over these groups on the left side, I can see that border around it, which indicate which group I'm in. So right now, let's say I want to keep my work, right? Because I want to maybe add content to it later on. And I like how the, you know, the layout of the section. But if I hover over it, I can see that the third group on the left side has that border on the right side. So I don't want to delete this one. But if I go on the fourth one, it's this one here. And all I have to do, I just click on the three dots and then remove group. And that will remove it from the page. Same thing for the reviews here or what the readers are saying. I can go ahead and remove it. And then the fourth one, you can go ahead and remove it as well. Okay. And I will update that. Now let's take uh, another look at our homepage. And that's what we have. So it's a lot more simplified now. Now, if you want to go back and add more content to your um, uh, to your homepage later on, it's as simple as just scrolling down to the very bottom and click, you know, the plus sign here, add a block, and you can, you know, add, or you could go to the top left and click uh, the, the block inserter right there. And you have a lot of blocks right here, as you can see that you can add that WordPress offer. So you can either create uh, website content from scratch, build these, you know, designs, you know, from a group and the layout and the design of each element, or here's where wonder blocks come in. So if you look at the patterns and templates, that is Wonder Blocks. And we'll see how useful Wonder Blocks can be. So I can go ahead and click on the patterns and templates. And then that's the comprehensive library that I talked about that Wonder Blocks offer. It has uh, different categories here. So for example, if I wanted to add, let's say, uh, if I have a team of employees and I want to feature them on my homepage, I can go to team. And then as you can see, we have different layouts that we can simply insert here. So let's say I can go ahead and add uh, this one right here. And then now I have uh, what we call a, a group of content or a pattern that's been inserted with uh, pictures of three people and then their name and the, the title. So I can change this to you know the person in my company, replace their image, as you can see here, and replace their title. So that's where Wonderblocks can come in and become very handy as we're building our website. And we will see more example of that when we're building the about page and the um, the blog, the, the about page and the blog page. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this last group that I added by just going to the last group here and then click on the three dots and hit remove group. And now that content is removed. Okay, so next let's uh, work on our uh, blog page. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the blog and click edit. So currently the block page is empty, right? Uh, and then what I want to do, I want to have boxes. Uh, you've probably seen that, a grid or boxes that show the most recent uh, blog posts here. So uh, I don't want to build that from scratch. You can, right? You can click here and you can do posts, but then you're going to have to worry about styling everything and stuff. So what you can do, you can just hit on the patterns and templates. And then in Wonder Blocks, we'll go to blog. And then right now we have two different examples that we can use here. So let's. I like this one here and I uh, click add, and now it's added to my page with uh, some of my uh, recent uh, posts. So three of my recent posts here, as you can see, and these are the posts that I created. So in your scenario, if you have a brand new website completely, they'll probably be empty, but as you're adding more blo uh, blog posts or articles or recipes, they will show over here. So let's go now to the uh, blog page on the front end and see what that looks like. And now we have the, uh, the blogs here. Now, I have a lot of blogs. You probably noticed that when we went to the posts on the back end here. We have almost 60 of them. But over here, uh, we can only see uh, uh, three of them. So ideally, what I want to do, I want to show like 10 of them, right? And maybe some uh, what we call pagination. So some links that will take you to the next page or the following page after that or just like page numbering. And so again, 
uh, Wonder Blocks creates a skeleton for us in this scenario. And then we can go to edit page and we can modify that skeleton or that pattern. And that's what I talked about. It's, it's modifiable, which is nice. So I go to the uh, group right here or the, the document tree and I click on that group. And so this element called the query loop uh, and we'll click on the post template here. And or actually let's click on the first, let's click on the query loop. And then there's this little settings icon here which has display settings and we can show, let's say, let's show nine items per page. And as you can see, now we have nine of my recent blog posts, okay? Next, let's click on the post templates here and then click the plus sign and let's search for pagination. So again, there's a pagination blog here I can click on. And now this pagination is added, as you can see, to the, uh, the bottom of the post template here that'll allow us to paginate uh, the, uh, the the blog post here. So let's go ahead and kind of modify the style of this a little bit. So let's click on the, do the document tree and click on the pagination. And then we have the option to, uh, on the right side or on the layout, to justify it to the center. So now it's aligned to the center here, as you can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and update the page and let's go and view that page. Let's go to the blog page and now this is what we have. We have a fully functioning uh, blog page with my recent articles here. And uh, I can click on the next page and that'll bring up the next page of post, third page, or even I can go to the next page here by clicking on this link or all the way to the last, uh, the seventh page here. Okay, so just like that, we're pretty much done with our blog page. We have the most recent articles and each one of them here is actually uh, an individual link. When you click on it, it will take you to that individual blog post. So uh, next we have the about page. So let's click on the about here and then let's work on uh, this page here just to talk a little bit about me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit page. And then again, uh, I can build that from scratch, but why choose that when you have wonder blocks so you can click on uh, patterns and templates. And then we'll go to, let's, ex let's uh, explore some of the uh, options here. So there's featured here and you can look at them and see if you like something and it matches the amount of content that you have or you're willing to, read con to write content around that blog uh, that you're importing or the pattern that you're importing, that's absolutely fine. So it definitely won't be header. It won't be even hero because hero is more of a, like an introduction section. Uh, but let's look at uh, maybe section heading here. That wouldn't be, that would, wouldn't be teams, but let's look at features maybe. Uh, so let's see here. So. I say we can go with an option like this. This one here looks looks like a, a little bit of a title and two images that I can import here. So uh, let's say, for example, I can say uh, the title can be something like I, I help small businesses succeed online. And then I can have a little bit of about me. I already prepared here. Okay. And then uh, the button here can be something like uh, let's connect. And then you can link that button to your contact page if you have one or to your social media account. And next, let's replace these images so I can go ahead and click on an, uh, one of these images. So it's two images here. I'll click on one of them here and click replace. Open media library. And then we can go ahead and um, drag images from the computer. And then I'll replace the second image. And now I'll go ahead and hit update. And now I'll go back to the front end. And just like that, within, you know, probably it was a minute, minute and a half, we've created an about page. Now, again, you can optimize that page, you can add more content to it, more blocks. Uh, but yeah, Wonder Blocks simplify the, uh, that experience. Okay, so I'm quite happy with how things are turning out right now. Uh, what I do need. I do need to edit my header. I want to show my logo. So again, there's no logo, there's no branding here. I want to probably remove that black background and change it to something else, okay? So I don't know if you noticed, but when we used to click on the uh, the edit page, we can't edit the header here. Uh, and that's because the header is not a page. Uh, it's basically a what we call a global element or a global uh, uh, template. So we have to edit that through the site editor of WordPress, not the page editor. So to access a site editor, well, you can either do edit site right here, right, as a shortcut, or the other option is to go back to the dashboard and click appearance and then editor right here. And this is what we call the full site editor, uh, FSC editor, or just a site editor. Okay, so um, to edit the header, in this case, uh, you just have to 
uh, click on the header right here. And uh, let's let's click on the header actually. And now I can actually edit my header. Uh, but let's see if I can edit it with um, with Wonder Blocks here. Let's see header blue. Okay, so first you have to access the uh, the the, the actual header from the, the 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 documentary, and then click edit, and click on this pen here, the the little pen icon to edit the header. And now we can go ahead and actually modify this header to you know change the style of it completely or apply a totally different template. So now we're editing the header only, not the you know the, the website template. As so as you can see, we don't see the page content here, just the header, which is nice. So what we can do here, we can click on the uh, the list view here or the document view. And then uh, we have just a group of one header, but let's go ahead and click plus sign. And then we have the wonder blocks patterns right here. And what we want, we want a header pattern. So if you can't find it, we can just search for header. And then you have the header pa header pattern. So uh, the green ones are typically the wonder block ones. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then it'll give us a few options of uh, uh, headers that we can use. So just review your options and see which one you like. So for me, again, it's very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this, the very first one here. Okay. So uh, this box, this grayed out box indicates a uh, place for a logo. So I can go ahead and click here and then just add site logo. And then I can upload the site logo from my computer. And now I have the site logo alani.blog. And then let's say, for example, I don't want this button. So you can go ahead and click on it and then just remove button. And then we have the home. Uh, actually, let's just remove that button completely, not just remove the text of it. So let's go to the row here that includes this button and just remove it completely. And now we have the, the navigation. So I want to reorder uh, the, the navigation items. So the home would be the first one, and then the blog, and then the about. Uh, so we can just go to the page list here and just drag them around so I can just actually let me see if I can edit that from the editor here one second. Um, oh, I have to click edit menu here. So let's see. So first I have to, it's kind of a locked element. So we have to click edit on it first. And then uh, now we can simply drag the home page and put it on top and then the block page after and then the about page last. Okay. And now uh, hit save. So now what I have though, I have two headers. You see the black, the, the, the black one right here, uh, the one with the black background. And then we have the, the one that we just created. I don't want the old one. I just want the new one. So I can click on the group of the old one, click on the three dots and click remove group. Hit save, save again. And let's click on the WordPress icon to go back and then go back again here. Just keep going back until you're inside the WordPress dashboard. And then click on the home page or the home icon here, and now we have our new header right there. So you can do the same thing. You can click on the edit side and click on the edit, the, the, the footer, edit footer, and see what other um, footer examples that you have. Uh, but yeah, just like that, that's how you can utilize uh, Wonder Blocks and also Wonderstar to build a website uh, fairly quickly on Bluehost and uh, WordPress. So let's give our last website uh, or website last look here. So this is what it looks like right now. Again, it could be modified. This content can be edited later on. Uh, the blog page here and also the uh, about page. All right. So do we have any questions in the chat, Devin? Actually, before that, one last thing. Uh, I forgot to mention is the uh, publishing the website. So if we go to the uh, right now, the website is not it, it has a coming soon. Uh, you remember I said that in the beginning. So to publish that website, uh, all we have to do, we just have to go back to the dashboard, go to Bluehost and then to the settings and then uh, just disable the coming soon. And now the coming soon is deactivated. So now the website is uh, public when somebody click on your website address they will see the website that you designed with Wonder Start and Wonder Blocks and the WordPress block editor. All right, so with that, uh, Devin, do we have any uh, questions? All right, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I think I'm here. Okay, let me get into the slides real quick. 
Um, I think I might have brought up the slides in the wrong spot, so let me get to where they are. Lonnie, I might have accidentally uh, kicked you off the stage as well, so if you want to rejoin in just a second, that would be wonderful. <clears throat> we had a, a handful of questions, so we're going to try to get through as many as we possibly can. Thank you all for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. I'm going to see if I can message Alani and get him back on here. I think I'm here. Devin, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can't see you. Um, yeah, I think I can't bring up my camera again. Let me try. I'm sorry. That's that's probably my fault with the technical side. I apologize for that. <clears throat> okay. So, Alani, are you okay if I start looking at some questions while you're trying to figure that out at the same time? Uh, yeah. I actually already added a few questions right now that I'm seeing in the chat to the priority list. Okay. Uh, so I can start answering some if you want. Sure. W one quick question that I'd love to start with is someone is asking if you can use wonder blocks in any theme or if it's specific to the wonder theme that Bluehost puts you into. Uh, I th It's only with the uh, wonder theme. Uh, a lot of the functionality uh, that these wonder blocks have are reliant on the wonder theme. So if you have an existing theme, uh, you might be able to import some of these uh, patterns uh, from Wonder Blocks, but then the styling will look broken, you know, naturally, and uh, you might face other issues. So, yeah, I would say stick with Wonder um, theme if you want to use Wonder Blocks. Okay, I will say though that uh, <clears throat> Wonder theme is not something that's proprietary to Bluehost, so you can use Wonder theme on any host. I I did see some questions in the chat that popped up about not being able to change hosts or you know being locked in and there are some other site builders out there that if you begin building with them you can't go to a different host you're very locked in um, you do have to use the wonder theme but other than that you are not locked in at all you can take uh you can take this to another host you can continue using the wonder theme um so yeah that's that's one thing that we're particularly excited about this okay uh, Alani, it looked like your camera popped up for a second and then dropped out again. So I'm not yeah. sure if, uh, if, uh, I think me joining might've messed something up on the technical side, but did you say you had a question or two that you saw in chat that you wanted to talk about? So I see one repeating here about if we can use, um, uh, websites through Bluehost and sorry, if they already have an existing website on Bluehost, if they can use wonder start or wonder block, or basically, uh, take advantage of this, you know? new Bluehost Wonder Suite add-ons. So you can't use Wonderstart. And the reason behind that is because as you saw, Wonderstart at the end, it basically generates a new website. So we don't want to generate a new website on top of the one that you already have. It might break things, you know, you might have duplicate pages and stuff like that. Um, but you can definitely use everything in the Bluehost plugin, like the features that help you set up uh, caching speed or, you know, the marketplace. And also you can use Wonder Blocks. So, um, Wonder Blocks really does a lot of the heavy lifting um, when you're building a website. So if you want to create a new page, about me page or something like that, you would just create a new about page and then start using the blocks or the patterns within Wonder Blocks uh, to put everything together on that page. But yeah, with Wonder Start, unfortunately, it's only for new websites, uh, just because the fact that at the end, it kind of generated a new website for you. So we don't want it to overwrite your existing one. Unless if you say, hey, I don't want my existing website at all. So you can delete it or you can create a new website and you can contact Bluehost support to help you with that, definitely. Yeah, Bluehost support can definitely help you at each step of the way. And um, also there's a there's a blue sticky at the top of the chat that says get help with your website today with our WordPress experts. If you click on that and fill out that form, we can also get you help uh, taking the next step with your website on that as well. So a couple options there. And one thing that I love to, to kind of point out, there is a difference between a new WordPress website and a new Bluehost account, because I think some people are getting the two a little bit uh, confused and thinking that they have to buy a new Bluehost account in order to access Wonderstart or Wonderblocks, but that's not the case. As long as you have a Bluehost account, you can go into your site manager and you can create a new WordPress website from there, and that will enable you to use wonder blocks and wonder start correct me if i'm wrong though alani no that's correct so as long as you have a plan other than basic because basic only allow you to have one website at a time active uh so if you have a plus plan or other legacy plan that allow you to have multiple websites 
you don't need a new Bluehost account. So what we talked about today, you don't need to, it's not for new customers, it's for new websites, for new websites to only access Wonder Start, right? Wonder Block is available for everybody that has Bluehost account or Bluehost, you know? So you have to create a new uh, WordPress website, not a uh, hosting account to access Wonder Start <laughs> again. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for that clarity. I think, I think that might've been a little bit confusing for some people. Uh, I'm looking through the chat real quick to see if there is any, um, anything that's popping up, but yeah, if you, if you have one or two that you'd love to answer, then just jump this, into it. This one is by Jose it says, um, is wonder blocks the same as Gutenberg editor or refer to another plugin. So, uh, wonder blocks are actually patterns for the Gutenberg editor or the WordPress block editor. Um, so if you have a if you have a theme by using WordPress block editor, like I said, or if you built your website with the WordPress block editor, you can use Wonder Blocks, and they're all native. They're not using any other add-ons or any other custom coding in them. So even if you decide to let's say migrate your website later on somewhere else, all these patterns um, that you've imported on your website will work anywhere else because they are using WordPress block editor. Okay, which perfect. I think that answers another question asked if we can move those to other hosts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing a, a couple questions in the chat just as far as um, going back over like how to add a new blog post to your blog page. We probably won't jump into those right now just because we are going to send this recording out in the next 24 to 48 hours. So you will be able to go back into the video and watch it at whatever pace works best for you. And you can see how to do that. But um, yeah, that is something that we covered in there. Um, I'm looking through this chat to see if there's a few other things that we can get into. As far as getting the Wonder Block, that is something I see in here. All of your, uh, when you create a new WordPress website on Bluehost, it should enable the Bluehost plugin automatically. Um, and as long as you have that Bluehost plugin, Wonder Blocks should be enabled. And if you're having issues with that, you can contact Bluehost Support. I'll put the phone number up here on the, on the. Uh, screen uh, and they they should be able to help you get wonder blocks up and running and uh, make sure that you have the bluehost plugin okay and i see a question by robin says uh if i already have a bluehost account and, and a wordpress website how or where do i access wonder blocks is it free so it is free uh if you have a, a bluehost account of course uh so you just have to make sure that you have the um bluehost plugin activated if not, you can contact support. They can help you install that plugin and activate it. And uh, when you go to create a page, if you're using the block editor, again, if your theme supports a block editor, um, you, you will see that that green button that you saw that says patterns. You would just click on it, and then everything there is Wonder Blocks. Yeah. Um, there's, there's some people that are asking about deleting their current website and using Wonder Theme. Yes, that's definitely an option. Personally, I always recommend uh, using staging. That's uh, something you can do from your WordPress dashboard. You can go into, again, the Bluehost plugin and access your staging environment, which will allow you to essentially add a new theme, new plugins, redesign your site if you'd like. And then once you like the look of that, you can migrate to live is what it's called, which basically takes the staging, which is which is like a, a, it's an instance of your website that is not visible to any traffic on the internet and it can move it so that it is visible um that might be a little bit confusing but um i i hope that that makes sense that that's a that's a really good way to experiment and to try this out and to make sure that it's working for you okay there's also another question it says um can you describe the value of wonder start i'm wondering if i can get away with just using wonder blocks and this is really an excellent uh question uh, you definitely can. Uh, so what Wonder Blocks does, the value of it is, it sets up the uh, initial state of, stage of the website. So when you create a new website, you have to create the site title right for Google, the meta description. You have to create a color palette before you're inside, uh, you know, WordPress designing your website. And that's where uh, Wonder uh, Star come in. It helps you set up the initial pages and stuff. If you have like familiarity with WordPress already and you are familiar with creating pages and setting up your color scheme of the website, and the font and typography, uh, you can definitely jump into the uh, into Wonder Block and start building your website uh, without you know having to go through the uh, Wonder Start completely. Yeah, 
And uh, I, I'm seeing a, a few more questions uh, about Wonderstar. I don't know if you'd be able to to share your screen again and maybe walk us through that. I don't know, uh, just maybe showing through just a, a Bluehost dashboard and uh, adding a new website and and showing that. If if we don't have time, I completely understand, but I am still seeing a little bit of confusion as far as what a new website means and what time that means. So that might be a little bit helpful if we can if we can demonstrate that again. Um, let me see if I can do that. Okay, we're we're asking a lot of you. I know to do oh, no, that okay. to multitask to answer the Q and A as well. No, no, no worries. I just have to find. Um... The account that I created to use this. Mm, just to make sure it looks the same. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue answering some of the questions that I see in the chat. Um, let's see. There is a replay for this. I think we've answered that once or twice. Uh, we'll be sending a replay of this out in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, someone, Angela is asking, I do want to start over and access Wonderstart onboarding. Why isn't this possible for existing users? It is possible for existing users. That's what uh, we're asking um, Alani to pull up an example and walk us through that real quick. Uh, Paul Walker, can I delete an unpublished website and rebuild with Wonderblocks? Yes, you definitely can. Uh, that's That's what I was kind of suggesting with the caching. It might be more helpful to just do that via caching so that you don't um, so you can have something for traffic to go to if you have existing traffic for your website instead of just switching it over um, let me see a lot of questions in here so Denise Stockberger asked, what if you already started a non-published website or blog but would like to start over with Wondersuite? How do I do that? If you started a website and you want to start from the very beginning again, you would essentially need to just delete that website. Um, another thing that you could do is through staging, which is what I would recommend, is to open up staging and to start building your website through there and then you can migrate that to live is what it's called basically moving your website from uh, a hidden environment into an environment that all traffic can access it to uh, jojo asked could we add video to wonderblock yes you can add video to wonderblocks Wonderblock uh, is actually just a tool that helps with full site editing. It doesn't necessarily change any of the functionality. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It doesn't, it doesn't limit any of your functionality. Anything that's available in full site editing, or as some people know it, Gutenberg or the Block Builder, that's all basically referencing the same thing. And that's where you can build your websites on WordPress. You can add videos, you can add paragraphs, and Wonderblock essentially group some of those blocks and patterns together. I think the example that Alani showed was uh, adding a team to a page where instead of adding a picture, a heading, and a description and doing that three or four times to make sure it works, you can just add a block that will add all of those elements together and then just go in and edit that pattern so that it fits your needs. Jojo, I hope that that uh, answers your question. I'm, I'm trying to catch up with all of these. I, I love all the questions that we have in here. Alani, are you still glancing at that? I'm trying. It just takes uh, like a long time to, uh, you know, create the account and uh, set up like a WordPress instance. No worries. Um, Stephanie, you asked if I purchased the domain with Bluehost, do I own my website? So that's an interesting question. You own the rights to that domain for the year, essentially. When you purchase a domain, oftentimes you're purchasing it for one year at a time, 12 months. When it comes time for renewal, you will be given the first right of purchase, meaning if I own a website, um, devinsdiner.com, we'll say. I own devinsdiner.com, and let's say it's a really, really popular website, and a competitor says, you know what? If I could buy devinsdiner.com, I could put him out of business. 
they they won't allow my competitor to do that when it comes time for my account to renew they'll say hey you owned this previously would you like to renew this and to continue owning this domain and there's like a 30 day period where you can continue to renew that and if you don't renew it in that 30 day period then it's released back into the wild so to speak into public where anyone can purchase it so uh, owning your website is a little bit different than purchasing the domain uh, at Bluehost, you do have access to all of your files, all of your media. So you do own that. And we do give you the right to move that to other hosts if you see fit. Obviously, we try to be a great partner. We try to help you out as best we can to make sure that you have everything that you need in order to uh, be successful when you're building with Bluehost. But if for whatever reason you need to relocate to a different host, you do own your files and your database and you can move that to another website. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little bit of a, a tickle in my throat. I apologize if this is coming through in the microphone. Um, Jennifer Klepsch, I apologize if I mispronounce your, your name. You ask, this is WordPress.com, right? This is actually not WordPress.com. There's a little bit of a distinction between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. WordPress.org is the platform, the software WordPress. That's where you can build your website. You can install it on any host that, not any host, but you can install it on most hosts out there, including Bluehosts. WordPress.com is the business arm where they are essentially their own hosts. They are their own website building function. <clears throat> I apologize. So this is WordPress.org, not WordPress.com. Donald is asking about support. We do not have an email address for support. It's true, but you can uh, look at our YouTube channel. We cover a lot of topics on there. We also have bluehost.com forward slash help, which gives you some options. And we do have a phone number where people can call in. Kathy asked what staging is. That's a great question, Kathy. Uh, I've mentioned it a couple different times. Essentially, staging is an opportunity for someone to take a carbon copy of their website and take it to uh, a place on the server where internet traffic can't get to it. So sometimes it's called a developer sandbox or a playground because it's essentially like you just take a copy of everything on your website and you shift it kind of into like a, a, a separate environment. I just see that you shared your screen, Alani. Did you find? Yeah. Can you see the screen? Yeah, I'm seeing site on WordPress choice plus hosting. Okay, so I have a uh, hosting account here with Bluehost, right? An existing hosting account. So uh, it, your panel might look a little different depending on when you, um, you know, signed up for Bluehost, obviously. Uh, but typically, the where you find things are like in the same location. You have the left sidebar uh, on the legacy uh, thing accounts. It just says my sites, and then you would click on my site. It has like the WordPress uh, logo, and then you will see a list of your sites, and you can create one or you can delete existing website. So here I just created a new website and here's the existing website that I have that we did uh, the demo on alani.blog. And you can log into WordPress through here. Uh, this is completely new website uh, that I just created. And if you want to create a new website, you just had to you just have to click add site here and then uh, say install WordPress. And then you would put the site title. So a new uh, website. And then uh, you would enter your domain or you would use uh, a, a temporary domain. Uh, for me, I just use a temporary domain because I don't have one. But for you, you would probably just do like a, a, enter an existing domain that you already have the rights to like Devin said. Uh, anyways, so once the website is created, it will be added on this list here. And then you can click login. And uh, that will, so if it's a brand new website you just created, you click login and that'll take you to WordPress to start the wonder start, which we're going to take a look at in just a second. However, if you want to delete an existing website, let's say you have a, a website that you created a few months ago, but you never really published it, you don't have any valuable content in, and you think, hey, I can just go ahead and you know delete that and start over. All you have to do is just click on that website on manage. And then again, the uh, the other uh, interface have just different you know visuals, but the, the buttons, their location is the same. And you want to click on settings. And then uh, you scroll down to the bottom and say delete site permanently. So you give it a few moments for the website to completely delete. 
and then you go back to my site or you go back to WordPress hosting and then you create a new website using that domain that you know that you want to create a new website on so you can start with one door start let me switch the screen here to a different one so we have the um, the one door start answer a question while you do that or is it going to be quick it should be quick here so okay, we cool. this is the so as soon as you log in for the first time on that website you will be greeted with one door start and that's essentially how you get uh, started again with um, with Wonderstart on an existing website that you just deleted the content for and start over. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So hopefully that clears some things up. If you're still feeling confused or stuck on that, then feel free to reach out to um, our support. I think that that, yeah, the, the number is there, the helplines are there as well. Uh, there's still a few more questions. I know we're a few minutes over, but I, I know that this can be a complex and a frustrating experience. So I really want to stick around and try to answer a few more questions. If you need to drop, that's fine. We completely understand. Thank you for lasting as long as you did and for sticking with us through this. We, we will be sending out that recording in the next 24 to 48 hours. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, Monty asks, so the Wonder theme is separate from Bluehost. Yes, we, we use it as our default theme for this. Um, we did work with the team that developed it, but it is not uh, it's not tied to Bluehost, meaning if you are at a different theme, you should be able to install the Wonder theme. If you're at a different host, I mean. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Carol asks a, a, a really important question. Bluehost and WordPress are different? I thought I purchased with Bluehost. Great question. So uh, I'm going to answer this question. And then Alani, if you have one or two more questions, then we'll answer those. And then I think we'll have to probably end it on that. Okay. Uh, I want to answer this one. Bluehost and WordPress are different. That is correct. Bluehost is essentially, if you are building a website, you need space to store your files. So essentially, Bluehost says, we have space on our servers. We will not only store your files, we will make sure that everyone that tries to access those files can get to them quickly. We'll keep those files safe from any hacks or any malware attempts, and we'll make sure that you can access those files so you can make changes and edits whenever you want. That's essentially the role of the host. They make sure that your files are accessible to everyone that's trying to access your website. WordPress is essentially the platform. It's, it's called a CMS, a content management system. That acronym can be confusing, so ignore that if it's not helpful for you. But WordPress is essentially the builder that compiles all of the, the images and the pages and the, the, uh, the blocks that you're using to build your website. And it stores them in a bunch of files and databases on our server so that your website can appear on the internet. So... You need a host to store your files somewhere and you need WordPress in order to generate those files and to create your website. And uh, I won't do it right now because it takes me a second to pull it up. But if you ever go and look at your file manager on Bluehost or if you look at your files, there are hundreds of files because WordPress by default installs all of the complicated backend PHP and HTML and JavaScript that works as the computer language and the computer coding that is necessary for your website to function easily. Uh, and I say easily in quote, cause I know it can still be a little bit complicated and frustrating, but uh, it, it installs all of that on the back end so that it can function more easily for you as the user and for your customers when they land on your site. So uh, that, I think that's the last question that I had. Uh, Alani, if you had another question or two, then, then we can get into that or we can, uh, we can wrap it on that. Yeah, I think I went through a lot. I'm answering a lot of them in the chat itself as you're uh, answering these questions. So I think I'm good here. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you all so much for joining us today. Uh, I apologize. It took me a second to get caught up on the chat. I had a little bit of a technical difficulty on my side, but... We really appreciate you all coming in and joining us today. We will be sending out the recording and uh, we will try to get to all the questions and chats that we didn't have a chance to today. So thank you so much. And uh, we hope you learned a lot from this and uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.